everyone. Happy Tuesday. Um, so this, uh, I was planning to do the fall coloring tag today. That is actually getting shifted to next Tuesday. I had a medication change shift that I started yesterday and we're at day two and I'm already feeling <laughs> pretty yucky this week. Um, fingers crossed that this actually evens out and works out for me because I really need it to. Um, I'll talk more about that over the weekend, but um, I actually completed my third book of the year and um, finished this on Halloween, which I was super happy about. I am on, well, we'll talk about that once I get done. Let me go ahead and get into this. This is the Little Witch's Large Print Color by Number by Sun Life Drawing. They do have a stained glass version that is super cool, but honestly, this large print coloring is kind of my jam a lot of times, <laughs> especially on days like today, way I feel it's a, it's a easy color by number kind of day. So, um, let's get started. Oh, and as always, I have to officially put my name in here and the date. So you guys get to nothing fancy. And this was completed actually on the 31st. So, nothing too fancy. Now, with this, it was 30 pages is the actual part of the book. I did not color the extra page or two that's in the back. This has a basic 12 color palette to it. Now, I am blind and there is a very good chance that I missed a small detail here and there when I was coloring these. I can't remember when I started this book. I think it was two years ago. Last year I really pushed, I'd done a few pictures of first year. Last year I did quite a few pages and actually thought I might finish the book. Then I get burnt out. <laughs> I love this one because of the backgrounds. Um, that's one of the reasons I haven't bought their color by number, uh, the, I think it's mermaids. Because um, I think, I don't think those have these drawn backgrounds. And I don't know, it's something about that solid background that really just makes the image pop for me. And I love the fun non-symmetrical look to it. So, it was all done with markers. There are a few pages, my blues and my lavenders, I think particularly my sh old shuttle art markers, which to be fair are, are old, old markers. Um, sometimes we'll do that. And I think it's where I'm putting my hand on the picture before they're dry. It's causing that to happen. So, some pages I play around with different tones of like the, like 12 is pink. So here I played around with different types of pink. Some of them I do that. Some of them I just color, use the same color throughout. It just really depended on my mood. These were great for, um, well, at least once I got the background knocked out, these are great for watching TV or having something going on in the background. The background of the image I had to focus on a little bit just to make sure I didn't create too many lines. I was pretty successful with that. Basically just starting it in a place where it would be the least noticeable, like right here, and then working my way around c continuously. Um, not letting a line dry was the best way to do it. This one I had a lot of trouble with. I think when I colored it, I had a fan on me, and so it was drying the page a lot faster. I think that's the one I had the most trouble with. All right, so this starts the one 
uh, the set that I've done for this year. And I shifted away from pink for the skin tone and used some different skin tones, which I love this one. Sometimes I was successful, sometimes I wasn't. Like I said, this pretty much just whatever the mood struck me was what went into this picture, so. I like that one a lot. So you'll be seeing some of these in my completed pages, um, starting with that one picture where I said, you know, that set starts will be all the ones for October. I went pretty wild and crazy. I, I really like this one. I p went pretty wild and crazy. There, I did a witchy skin tone, like the, the light green there. I just thought it would be fun. And then here's this one. I don't know, this one or the vampire one might be my favorite. I like this one where it's like she's turning him into, I don't know, a fish. And the mouse thinks it's hilarious. This one I like the colors I picked a lot. But I also really like the picture where um, little kid Dracula is going to give her some flowers. I think that's very cute too. So. so yeah, the third book for the year. The third book in my 10 books to complete. And we are in, see, I didn't color this one. But World of Mice, I actually completed last year, the large print color by number. So, so yeah, we are in November, and I only have three of my ten books, so it is not looking good for me to finish ten books. However, I think I can hit 50% of that. I have two other books that I think I can finish. My Fairy Tales uh, Mindware book color counts and my um, stone mosaic volume two I get those done by the end of the year I think that'll be awesome if I can get another one done even better but yeah 10 was pretty ambitious I last year I did I finished two books and then this year I'll go up to five and I feel like that's a pretty good that's pretty good um, year over year. So <laughs> next year we might be aiming. We might dream 10, but we're going to aim for seven next year. I have a lot of books that are pretty, you know, at least over half completed. So um, seven should actually be a pretty achievable goal next year. Oh, gosh. Anyway, I will have completed pages on Friday. That is going to be a whopper of the video because let me tell y'all, October was my jam for coloring. I, it's probably the most pictures I've completed, easily the most non-color by number pictures I've completed in a month. Um, so uh, just got super creative the last few weeks of the month, which was great. I love it. Of course, now I'm tired, <laughs> and so I guess I have to recoup. But anyway, so y'all uh, look forward to Friday. It's like I said, I've got quite a few pictures for Cattober. Thank you to everybody, by the way, that participated in Cattober. I'll mention that again Friday. Um, I might post on the community page a little bit about my goals for the month. I know I kind of stopped doing that, but I do want to set. I'm still aiming to hit my 40 for 40 at the end of the year. We're just going to do it a little differently. So, um, and then over the weekend, it's either going to be a color chat or a live stream on possibly Saturday morning or Saturday night. We'll see. We'll see how the week goes, how the week treats me, and how my, my med shifting does um, come by the, by the end of the week. So that will dictate a lot of that. Anyway, sorry guys. Like I said, um, I figured you got a lot of chat tag videos from me last week. So, and with all the completed pages videos out to watch, um, it'd probably just be better to put that to next week. So... Hope you guys are having a better start to the week than I am, <laughs> but uh, y'all take care and bye for now.